What's good, Will Will? Daytime, man. So a nigga, you know, ain't no no, no drama or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I'm addressing some shit right quick. You know what I'm saying? Kinda give some people a better understanding why I still don't even be fucking with a lot of this shit, but it, it might not be like that. So look, I don't know if y'all know, but most of these wheels, this why, okay, look. This see this is the thing that y'all don't that y'all don't be understanding. If you ever just catch what I be saying, I don't never try to be a hypocrite, right? So the reason I don't really worry about or speak on that slab racing shit and all that dumb ass shit is cause at one point in time I was somewhat a part of that shit. I also swang and done dumb ass shit. So I ain't never been a nigga that's go turn around and then talk down on the next because I'm not doing it no more. It's like saying, oh, because I don't do it no more. That mean, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't do it. I tell you, you know, why I don't do it no more or something, but I don't really give a fuck what you do. Same way with this long wheel shit. If you ever been around me, and when it comes to the forms of building a car, you know, I would have been told you like, if you see all the youngsters that have built cars up under me, they came out on the longest wheel. I always came out on the longest wheel when I gave a damn. See what I'm saying? I was never faced with the, this, it was never a wheel I disliked until the G15. I didn't even think 12s was too long. The G15, I thought was too long. I still don't like it, okay? So I'm currently finna come out on 18s, okay? I don't like them. The reason I'm doing it is because I got too much money in the car and on the car to come out on some rims that are not valuable. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna ride. That's like me saying, oh, let me go get some G15s or something like that or some woo-woo and them hoes only $2,500. I can't do that. It's too much money in and on this motherfucker. This is my belief, my, my preference. So... See, when we was riding the wheels, I stayed with the newest. I stayed with the newest 17s that they had. You know what I'm saying? But what I noticed was we were getting played. See, again, like I said, all these rims was designed by slab niggas. So the Supers was paid for and started by OGP we to put on a lacab. Y'all saw Tony on them first because Tony was the nigga to see how they was going to last and, and, and take it. It was said that if Tony don't break them, then they were safe to ride. So when the gorillas came, we got, we got, we was under the impression that it was only going to be ever so many sets made and they was going to be exclusive and all of that. As you see, that was a lie. So when the eights came, Pee Wee had them too. He started them too. You know what I'm saying? When the eights came, Drew from Third Ward, when the first set ever came to the shop, Drew from Third Ward was like, man, i give you six bands, 6,500 right now, cash, nigga. Hey, that started that money shit going up. And that's why you saw him on him by himself in the city for almost two months alone. You see what I'm saying? Then they went on to the 10s and 12s. So when you see these buttons, those were started by a nigga named Wody and a little dude with that Park Ave Barrow. He was still young then. They designed them wheels, man. They was calling them Wody Barrys. None of the names that we came up with the wheels actually stuck. Y'all started calling shit as y'all want to, like gorillas and shit. We didn't name that shit that. Y'all just gave it y'all names, super duper pokers and ridiculous pokes and giraffe necks. That was all some street shit they came up with. It wasn't really the name we gave them, but it didn't really matter. When you seen Buck put the whole acres home on 20 inch eights, when you seen Tim, stupid Tim, uh, get up under Vaughn and then come out with the, the stretch threes, you see what I'm saying? Vaughn been in tune with the streets. Like he's not. A nigga that didn't come. He used to party with us. He used to come out. So he took feedback. You know what I'm saying? Made shit and seen where it went. So a lot of this to be blamed is us. We actually did it. We started the shit. We, a lot of these new reels that came out, 
I done heard people saying, oh, nigga, I paid for the first. I got him to make me the first G22s, and I got this and I got that. When I talk to Vaughn about it, like he explained to me, I run a business, man. I need products. You see what I'm saying? I'm all uh, street slab code and ethics. That shit don't apply to me. And he wasn't lying. This is why I never knock her down nothing that going on with that shit. I just don't like it. What I'd always point out is, if you notice, the prices don't go up. Technically, a lot of these rims should be over 10K right now. You wouldn't see niggas on them. If the rims was actually that valuable and exclusive, I'd ride them. Not even like them. I'd ride them just so I can say, bitch, you ain't got these. That was why we rode elbows to begin with. It didn't matter how much money you had. You couldn't get these. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you didn't have a, if you wasn't a stump down nigga or had a stump down team or you didn't have, goddamn me, the connections to get them, you couldn't get these. So it was like, okay, y'all got those, but I got these. It's too affordable now. That's what y'all don't understand. I see people make posts. Watch how I do this. Watch how simple it is to do. This is why I told Lorenzo Tilly last night that slab standards have changed. Back when candy was not necessary, it's so cheap. Now, why? Just back in the day, you had Jack and Ike popping people for damn near seven to ten bands for paint. You had Warren and, uh, uh, and them popping niggas for interior for eight bands. You had these motherfucking trunk shops wanting damn near five and up just to fuck with your trunk. Nigga, it was not hard for them to put 40 bands in that car. This is why only in the hood was a fucking slab Cadillac compared to a Benz. Because back in the day, a 30,000 I-90 put up against a motherfucking 30,000 Fleetwood, we the same, nigga. Nigga, you got a $30,000 car that you paying them white folks for is what they go tell you. That's where the OES get that from. And I got 30 in this bitch. It's a big difference, and it's mine. So the game then changed. You know, the game changed, and you can't do nothing but accept that. That's why I don't y'all don't bait me into little dumbass arguments and shit. And I'm not one of them old niggas that stuck back in the time to where I don't realize or see the change. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, I'm not going to be dumb like that. So this is why we have a lot of discrepancies about a lot of things because what y'all do now, what we did then and the way the things were then is very different. So, but I say all that to say, these gonna be like anything else. A nigga go, a nigga go goddamn get it. You see what I'm saying? Now you got niggas doing their own interior, painting their own cars, doing their own trunks, and then coming out talking about I got a bag. I spent a bag. You didn't spend a bag. Nigga, I paid more than what you paid for materials just in labor. It's a big difference. It was, the game was a capping game. It really was. You see what I'm saying? It was a money game. It's no longer that. That's why it's no longer fun to me. That's why I'd rather go do other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be associated with you lame duck ass niggas. Everybody not lame duck ass niggas. But when y'all started making iconic bullshit niggas, why would I want to be a part of that? Like, I'm cool. This is not my game. It's not the game I started low and low. So I'd rather not play. That's why when niggas be like, why you ain't this way? I don't want to be associated with them. I love cars, so I'm going to have a car. I'm going to have wheels. I'm going to have my shit bolted up. I'm going to do all of that. But you probably won't never see me in them with them. I don't want to be associated with them. I hang with the cool kids. Those niggas are not cool kids. Those were just allowed to be a part of the cool circle, which they in turn made it not cool anymore. Like, it's not cool anymore. I'm going to get exotics or something like this is, you know, this is a different caliber of niggas. Uh, the caliber of niggas that's involved in this on a majority level now ain't what's up. This is why in my group, if you them type of niggas, I wish you would just exit at the top, you know, go right to the top, to the right and exit and go to the mother groups. You know what I'm saying? I really wouldn't want you here. I only want people here that's on what we own, living life, doing player shit. We ain't all about a car. You feel me? We not all about a car. We got a lot of shit going on, nigga. We, go, we got a lot of shit going on. Bikes, cars, trucks, whatever, whatever. We basically getting money. We basically enjoying life. But yeah, you know, we still, we do love cars, though. But that ain't, the world don't just revolve around a car. Okay, I got to go because, you know, like I say, y'all niggas ADHD, the longest I can go is 10 minutes. But I'm saying, that just that's just a little bit to point out what we be talking about, man. Like, 
it's no exclusiveness. It's no prestige. In actuality, he shouldn't have never dropped the drop. If he would have kept that shit at a high rate, man, we probably wouldn't even be on uh, eights right now. We wouldn't be on tens right now because you niggas wouldn't have been able to get up there. You know what I'm saying? So y'all wouldn't even y'all wouldn't have them. Y'all only can have them because they are fucking affordable. You know what I'm saying? And that's just like anything. Just perfect example. If you know anything about this shit, you see all these bitch ass uh, 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 slingshots out here. You don't see hardly no T Rexes. They starting at sixty to ninety thousand. Not them slingshots. If, if you see too much of something, that's how you know it's cheap, dog. You know what I'm saying? You don't see exclusive shit. That's why it's exclusive. Everybody don't got it.